You can bring in files individually or as a group and I'm going to show you how to do it as a group and then break them back out. So what I'm going to do is bring in a series of about nine individual clips that my wife took while we were going through the Smokies. So I'm just going to click on the first one, then left click and bring them all in and just drag them over into the media pool. And once I do that, it brings them in as one complete image. They're not separate images. So what I need to do is separate this and break it back out into the nine individual frames. So I'll show you what it does is when you bring it in, it just brings it in as one piece. I'll zoom in a little bit, <clears throat> excuse me, and scoot it over. And then when I hit play, it's just going to treat this as one big image and scroll right through it. I'll even put it on a loop so you can just see it go loop. And that's way too fast. So what I want to do first of all is I want to break this back out into individual clips. So I'm going to go ahead and delete what I have here and delete this timeline. Don't need it anymore. And just go ahead and remove this here. And I'll go ahead and select the image. And what we'll do at this point is right click and go down to where it says reveal media storage. This will click you over to the other side and then up at the top here we'll go ahead and highlight it and then go to these three little dots and click on it and then click on show individual frames. And what that will do is it breaks it back out into the individual frames so that we can manipulate those as we need to. You can reorder them if they're not in the correct order. I'll go ahead and click on the first one, click on the last one and then drag them down into my main file. You could put these into a bin if you've already cre created one and that way you can organize them a little bit better. Now that I have them back over into the edit file, you can see that the original one is still there. I now have the nine individual files. Click on the first one, then shift and left click on the last one, drag them down into the timeline, and here they we now have them all as individual clips. I'll zoom in a little bit so you can see them and there's all eight, nine of them individually. However, at this point it brings them in at five seconds. So each one of these frames is five seconds and that'll put you to sleep if you're trying to watch them. So what we want to do is shorten this and make it down so it fits in a better what we're looking for. So I'll click and drag and highlight all the frames. Then I will right click and go up to where it says change clip dur duration. At this point, they're all set to five seconds. I'm going to go ahead and change that five to a zero, then go to the end and put eight there, which means it's going to be eight tenths of a second. I hit the change button, and now they all are at eight seconds, 8.8 8 of a second. Now they do have all these gaps. So what we'll do here again is right click, drag, and highlight them all. And what we want to do is remove the gaps. So not file, but under edit. We'll click on that. And then you'll slide down to say delete gaps. And all of a sudden they're all merged right together with no gaps. I'll zoom in a little bit closer so you can see them. And now all the files are at 0.8 seconds and all the gaps have been removed. I'll play it now. And this looks much more what I was looking for. Very cool effect. And that's all there is to it. That's how you remove the gaps. That's how you change the duration of the clips. And also how to break them out once they've all been put together. I do appreciate you taking the time to watch this video. And please leave comments and subscribe below. Thank you very much.